Kia ora koutou katoa, nā mai haere mai, welcome to uh, my house in Auckland, New Zealand. If you don't know me, my name is Linda Jane and uh, I'm going to read a book for you all today, Things in the Sea are Touching Me. Um, before we start, a little shout out to Bridge Street School, hello, um, and here we go. Things in the Sea are Touching Me, written by yours truly and illustrated by the lovely Minky Stapleton. Things in the Sea are Touching Me. We stroll to the beach, Mum, Ma and I, under a shimmering summer blue sky. Wearing my togs and feeling carefree, I just couldn't wait to splash in the sea. Across the hot sand, my jandals flip-flopped till we stopped by a tree at my favourite spot. Then dropping our towels, our sunblock and snacks, we ran to the water, the sun on our backs. I entered the waves, the bubbles felt neat when suddenly something grazed over my feet. Look in the water, ma, golly, oh gee, something in the sea is touching me. I shrieked and I squealed and turned on my heel. I grabbed onto ma with my grip strong as steel. Don't worry, said ma, it's just a wee crab, looking around for something to nab. It's seeking a snack just under your toes, so let's watch it roam and see where it goes. The crab ambled sideways over the sand. I sighed with relief and let go of Ma's hand. Then wading out deeper, right up to my belly. Suddenly, there I was, wading through jelly. Look in the water, Ma! Golly, oh gee! Something in the sea is touching me! I squawked and I screeched and turned back to the beach. I wanted those blobs to be far from my reach. Don't worry, said Ma. These salps are so small, they just float about, not a bother at all. They drift through the water and feed like a filter. No need to let them put you all off kilter. I peered at the blobs, the gelatinous lumps, trailing my fingers through transparent clumps. Diving under a wave, I dared open an eye, and then I felt a small bump on my thigh. Look in the water, ma, golly, oh gee, something in the sea is touching me. I spluttered and screamed as something unseen was suddenly there where no thing had been. Don't worry, said ma, it's only a seed from mangroves afar, and the thing that they need is, is some place to land in all squishy and soft, in which they can grow and send new pods aloft. Buoyant and bouncing, the pod bobbed away. Watching it drift, I decided to stay. Swimming out further, I felt much more calm when suddenly something slid over my arm. Look in the water, ma, golly, oh gee, something in the sea is touching me. I yelped and I roared, splashing back towards shore, not feeling so eager to swim anymore. Don't worry, said ma, it's seaweed, all right. But I can see why you got such a fright. Kelp that's so slimy and floaty, I figure, would feel quite enormous and oh so much bigger. It makes big kelp forests where sea urchins hide, but some break away and end up on the tide. I swam a bit longer, not minding these things, these crabs, blobs and pods, these seaweedy strings. I splashed and I paddled, found courage within, ignoring when stuff touched an elbow or shin. All of a sudden, I heard a great screech. It was Ma who now headed straight back for the beach. Look in the water, love. Golly, oh gee, something in the sea is touching me. I looked at my Ma heaving out of the water, her eyes wide and white as if something had caught her. I burst into laughter, my hands on my tum. Don't worry, Ma, that thing is just Mum. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, stay safe, kia kaha, and uh, yeah, take care. Thanks. Bye.